Hey guys, Jessica with Curious Kitty here, and tonight I am making homemade cat treats. These are also good for small dogs um, because they only have three ingredients in them. So what we're going to do is our three ingredients right here, whole wheat flour, an egg, and 10 ounces of canned salmon. So in a large bowl, we're going to take two cups of flour, Looks like a lot of flour, but you'll need it, I promise. All right, we've got two cups of flour, an egg, which I got all over my hands, so now I need to rinse. <laughs> of canned salmon which the dogs are already going crazy over because it smells so good so I'm just going to take these three simple ingredients some of you may already have them around your house I'm just going to mix them all together I'm going to try to break up the salmon as much as I can with a fork and like I said seems like a lot of flour to use but we're gonna be getting dirty we're gonna get our hands dirty and in this to mix it all together so you're really going to appreciate all of that flour so that it doesn't stick to your hands <laughs> so for those of you just joining in to our Facebook live tonight I know it's really late for y'all East Coasters, but some of you West Coasters may still be up with me. Um, we are making homemade cat and dog treats with just three ingredients. So, as you can see, I'm just, I'm trying to mix as much of these ingredients together as I can with a fork, but ultimately, we just gotta get dirty. We gotta get our hands in there and Mix it all up. So, here we go. If you start mixing and it still feels too sticky after you start, it all gets combined together, you can always add a little bit more flour. Um, the last batch I did, I actually needed just a little bit more than two cups, so. Um, make sure you have more than two cups available, which chances are you're gonna because when you buy it, you can't buy it in just two cups at a time. But um, you're gonna need extra to put, I have a little bit of wax paper down here, but I'm still gonna put some flour on the wax paper so that the mixture doesn't stick to this really nifty little instrument that I was told to use. It actually works pretty good. It's just a little time consuming. So mix all this together. All right. So when I was reading through some, some recipes online, I was noticing that some people were saying to use a bottle cap. And my hands are gross, sorry, but a, a little bottle cap from a bottle of water is gonna make a really good sized treat, especially for cats. Um, if you have dogs, and especially larger dogs, that little bottle cap may be kind of tiny, but it would be good for making some training treats for um, larger dogs. So um, I would imagine most people probably have a bottle cap somewhere around their house. And it's just a little bit time consuming to use it, but it really does make a really good sized treat, like I said, especially for cats. So I am going to now take just a little bit more flour. And put it 
on my wax paper. I'm just going to take part of my mixture because if you have a big counter, you probably do all of it, but I have kind of a small counter, so I'm not going to be able to get all of it done at once. So I'm going to take part of my mixture and flatten it out as flat as I can. I'd like to get it to about a quarter of an inch thick. I don't really want them too thick, especially if you're making these for um, cats. You just don't want the treats to be too, too terribly big. So as you can see, I'm just pressing it out with my hands. You're welcome to use a rolling pin, but um, there's still some salmon chunks in there, so I don't want to beat them too much. So, all right, we got this fold it out and I'm sorry my hands are a mess but that is just the nature <laughs> of cooking and I'm going to take my nifty little bottle top and just start cutting out some of these treats so as you can see they're a really good size um, another really cool trick is to take coconut oil which we have the cooking spray coconut oil cooking spray spray in the box top and in the box top in the uh, bottle cap top and that dough will not stick to it it'll come out really nice and easily just like that so we got plenty of these to do but here's what you're gonna do okay so you're gonna take a cookie sheet if it's non-stick that's great if it's not definitely spray it down with um, some cooking oil I like to use coconut um, it's just a lot healthier, not only for me, but for my pets, yours too. And we're going to have the oven preheated to 350 degrees, and we're going to bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes. If you make them larger than this little bottle cap size, uh, you may need to go up to 15 minutes. Just keep check on them. So 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes, and this is what we end up with. All these yummy little treats here. So, um, my dogs are available, I think, for you to see how much they like them. Hey, Kim. Kim, good girl. Gracie, good girl. So, those are just simple three ingredient homemade cat and dog treats. If you're only making them for cats, go ahead and sprinkle in a little bit of catnip. I know they'll love it that much more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little baking lesson. And if you have any questions, please put the questions in the comments. I will be happy to answer them. Don't forget to share this video with your friends because a simple three ingredient treat is going to be a great way to make some um, treats for your pets that are probably healthier than what you're getting at the pet store right now. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Share, comment, like, and I will see you next time.